Are you tired of being limited by the range of your Bluetooth devices in Home Assistant? In this video, I'll show you how to easily extend that range using a Bluetooth proxy with no need for soldering or complicated setup. Let's get started. Let's assume your Home Assistant hub is in the living room. It has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. In the bedroom there is a strong Wi-Fi connection, but no Bluetooth signal as it's too far. When adding the Bluetooth proxy, it listens for Bluetooth traffic and forwards it to your Home Assistant over Wi-Fi. This is how it extends your Bluetooth range. The first use case is if you don't have any Bluetooth capabilities for your Smart Home Hub, like some desktop computers or the Home Assistant Yellow. The second use case is if you already have Bluetooth support and want to extend your Bluetooth range using a Bluetooth mesh network, so to speak. We'll be using this ESP32 board, a powerful microcontroller with built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities. Make sure to check the description for compatible boards. Make sure to use Chrome or Edge browsers. Go to the ESP Home website, select your device, then click Connect. Connect the ESP32 to your computer with a data cable. If you can't see your device, click Cancel and install the drivers. Click on Install ESP32 Generic and confirm data will be erased. If you get this message, make sure to hold the boot button before installing. The installation will take about 2 minutes. After it's completed, select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. You can add it to Home Assistant directly from this screen. Just make sure that the URL is correct. In the integration page, you should see the Bluetooth proxy. Click Configure and Submit to add it to Home Assistant. It instantly scans for Bluetooth devices. It discovered this Xiaomi temperature sensor. Click Configure and Submit to add it to Home Assistant. Position your ESP32 Bluetooth proxy between your router and Bluetooth devices, as it will use Wi-Fi to transmit the BLE data back to Home Assistant. Optionally, you can print a 3D case to protect it from dust. It also looks much more aesthetic. With just a few simple steps, you now have a Bluetooth proxy set up to extend the range of your Bluetooth devices in Home Assistant. Let me know in the comments which devices you'll be using it for. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Home Assistant tutorials. Thanks for watching.